There are brand new link data types coming to Excel. Let's take a look. I've previously shown you how to use stocks and geography data types in Excel, but Microsoft is adding several more link data types, and this list will continue to grow in future releases. You can find all the data types available under the Data tab in the Data Types section. These data types are considered link data types because they have a connection to an online data source. That connection allows you to bring rich, interesting information to your spreadsheet that you can work with and refresh. One of the benefits of link data types is that they stay linked to the original source of data. So if you refresh your spreadsheet, it's going to update to the latest information. You can also reference data types in a formula in your spreadsheet. So if I want to see a formula that equals this value and the data element from that value, it's looking that data up in the data source and entering the results in the cell. The latest version of Excel includes stocks and geography, but there are additional data types in preview that will be available very soon in Excel. Those include chemistry, elements, space, satellite, movie, food, activity, university, location, and zip code. There is also an automatic data type which tries to determine which one of the data types you are using. For example, if we were to enter a food and we choose automatic. It puts a question mark to determine which type of data element you're selecting and brings up a variety of different options on the right. We're going to pick apple, a food type. And now those data elements are available. We've seen stocks and geography in previous videos, but let's take a look at some of the other new data types. If we enter H2O, we all know that's water and it's a chemistry symbol. So let's choose the chemistry data type and it converts it to water. It also has this card next to it that shows you information about that. And now you know that dihydrogen monoxide is the name of water. You can then add other data criteria to your spreadsheet. And in this case, you can see that it's made up of the elements, hydrogen and oxygen, and now the data card for elements is there. That's this data type. Click on that and see information about that particular element. Let's take a look at space data types. If you enter a planet and choose the space data type, it determines that it is space related and you have information about that particular planet. Same thing's true for satellites. So if we enter the symbol for the International Space Station and select satellite, it brings that up with additional data as well. Movies allows you to put in the name of a movie. And in this case, it doesn't know which one of the movies, so we'll select one. And now you have movie information available. I also discovered that if you put in the name of an actor, for example, it doesn't know what it is, but if you search, you can select that person, and now there is a people card, which is actually not even in the list of options. So there may be some other features available here that are not listed. And you get the idea with the remaining ones, food, activity, university, location, and zip code. As you can see, data types are very handy to pull information from data sources external to Excel, and you can use them in your spreadsheet. I'm sure over time, Microsoft will be adding a number of other data types to the list. So take a look at data types. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.